So today we're going to go through the SMC strategy that will make you profitable in a matter of time. If you give this time, if you give this the effort right, you will make it right. It is simple and not complicated at all. If you follow the simple rules I'm about to tell you, it will work for you, right? Let's, so let's get into it. So first of all, let's say we are going bearish, right? Let's pick a bearish version. Okay, so we're creating a low, right? From that low, we do a high. Let me do this in blue. All right, we do a high. Again, what do you do? We do a low, right? That puts in this high. And you'll see that this high gets broken, right? What does that mean? That means a break of structure. That means we've broken the last high. So that's a break of structure, right? And after a break of structure, what will most likely always happen, always, is a pullback, right? And what is a pullback? It's this leg, right? This leg right here. Well, that leg, right, is counted as a pullback. And when do you know a pullback is valid, right? A pullback is valid if it has three bearish candles. So the three bearish candles, right, that break and close each other. I'm going to show you how um, it looks like on the live trading chart this right here we create a high and then we put in a um, potential low right here right and how do you know that this is the high the high is valid if it has three bearish candles like i said you can see that one this week breaks this candle that's two this week breaks this candle three so this is a valid pullback which means this is a valid high and if we break above this high we have a break of structure right so that's essentially it but where do you know that the pullback like i've shown you here will end how did i know that the pullback will end in this box and i go back up now i'm going to show you how again in some uh point price will stop doing the pullback and how do you know that because if you uh, look right here there will be some uh, fair value gap right a big move by the market a gap and that gap if you look to the uh, candle before that right before the big impulsive move the efficiency there will be a uh, opposite direction uh, of the trend uh, candle right so in this scenario you're looking for a sell to buy candle so for a red candle you're gonna take uh, a box from the upper wick to the lower wick which then will look something like this right and when price navigates into this order block we can take our profit right here because we'll know that price again will break structure this high and a little bit with this right that is for the bearish version that is just simple market structure right it's beginners market structure we'll get into more advanced how it looks on the market so now if you're going uh bearish let's say for a bearish example what we'll know we'll see that we are creating Oh, we're creating this high right that put in a low right does a pullback into some order block right like we've said and that pushes back down right all right so this right here this low got broken which means break of structure right in the two characters it's all the same just the opposite uh direction right so this is a break of structure right and somewhere here again is an order block and all i'll tell you guys is uh you can use a fibonacci retracement tool like i use here right to edit identify and to confirm your order block right how do you do that in a bearish scenario you go from the high to the low right this low right here from to the low you'll see price going to pull back into some point area of interest right and it's not this gap right here price literally never almost never comes in this uh section that drops back down it will come into the 0 0.7 0 0.6 0 0.5 right and as you can see the fibonacci prism tool in a, a bullish scenario you go from the low to the high right and in this scenario go from the high to the low so it's always the opposite you'll know that for a fact somewhere there is a order block right 
somewhere right here is in order block here which price comes into this order block right draws back down to break structure great so now let's say we are in this leg right what do we expect again let's identify our highs and our lows so this was our low uh, this was our high right was our low this was our high and now we are waiting for a potential low and how can we identify a low once again if you have three bullish candles the three opposite color candles right that break and close each other so let's say this is a low in this uh, scenario right because it's going to pull back all right then this is the low what you do at that point is take a rectangle go from the high to the low right and everything in here between is just internal structure that is advanced uh, market structure right because price will never go into one direction and drop back down right it's not one line it will consolidate go up creating high high lows right and you'll know for a fact that somewhere right here is an order block right somewhere right there is an order block so all price do price once again will do this pullback right here this pullback do this this maybe this just play a little right and that come into this never gets further in right and when price never gets further in then it will resist off and do something like this and then drop back down right so that's what most likely price will do and then right here you have your break of structure once again what is your high that is your high let me show you so this was a low right this was the furthest high before we uh, broke structure so this is the high and this is potential again the low and then you do the same somewhere right here will be an order block that's how it is all right not complicated at all just stick to the rules and uh, yeah there should be no uh, confusion at all but sometimes there is confusion because you don't know if it's a valid pullback or not but again if you stick to the golden rule the most important rule of this all which is having three uh, offset colors right in the uh, in your bias then that is a pullback so if you look into this right let's delete all of this and let me put you step uh, step by step into this process right all right and it's a live market by the way so as you can see here we made a high right how do we know that that is the high because you'll see that this has a valid pullback you see it has more than three bearish candles which means all right this is the high this is the low we again right here break structure right let's say we break here structure okay so a break of structure to the upside right well what do we do now now we'll know for a fact right that price will come back uh pulling back into some point of interest right somewhere here and i go back up so let's see we only see this right here right and not this just ignore it all right we break structure we put in a low and now we're putting in a high how do we know the high is a valid again once again it has a spell pullback is this a valid pullback yes it is a valid pullback so what do we do we we'll mark this as a high what do we do now we take our rectangle from the low to the high like i've said and everything in there between is just internal structure you don't look at it the uh, um the uh the, as you see internal right it's just a manipulation you could say right creating those you see uh high low and then a high high and then it puts in a low lower low lower high and goes just to manip manipulate you right so don't get uh caught on the wrong side of the market this is the low this is the high everything in between just internal so at this point what do you do you look at where we broke structure and you'll see when we broke structure right in this leg there should be a fair value gap right this this big mar this big uh, candle right this big candle i'll give you a tip the order block is always before a break of structure always right and so if you take your Fibonacci retracement tool like i've said from the low to the high 
once again you'll see a price navigates into this area and then pulls back up to break structure but we'll get to that in a minute so then you'll know all right this area somewhere here has to be an order block where's the order block right here because this big, big move by the market right is the efficiency and if you look to the candle what happened after that you'll see that this week doesn't touch this week so that's efficiency fair value gap right I made a whole video about that about order blocks so go check it out I'm just gonna go through it fast so this right here is your order block and so if you do uh, if you pick this as your order block right you'll see that it completely worked and you could take in a big ass amount of money right there right so this was the order block and potentially we could say if price pulled into that order block right pull back to the order block that will be uh, a low right because after that hit it will go back up to break structure so here we could fake a long position right here take profit at the next key level which, which is the next break of structure where could the, the next break of structure be the next break of structure uh, is right here right because this was a high if you need to break structure it has to go up the previous high above the previous high so take a profit right here and your stop loss just beneath this right here right and then you have a nice six to uh, risk to reward ratio which is pretty damn nice right and so now do you have uh, smash or take profit what do we do now uh, Wait, yeah, delete all of this, right? Delete all of this. You'll see that price once again puts in this high, right? That we saw. Then, what do we break structure? We broke structure here, right? That was the break structure. Great. Where was the lowest low? Right here in this uh, leg. Where we pull back from to break structure. Is it this low? This low? No. No? Yeah. This was the furthest low we broke structure so that's our low and again you look back where did we pull back to identify our high right here and like i said after a break of structure there will always be a pullback three bearish candles that break each other yes that is a valid pullback what do you do again rectangle from the low to the high and everything in there but between is just internal structure you don't look at it until we break up or down and then you need to identify your order block once again you'll see right that this right here was a big move right uh, compared to this little move right here that led to price breaking structure going up impulsively right if you look at this candle and then at the previous candle those 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 two weeks don't touch each other so this right here is your order block right so this right there is your order block and once again when price comes into this you take your long position target the next high in this occasion what we will do we know that this high will be taken out so we go a little above this high to take our profit right and your stop loss should be a little beneath these blocks and then once again you have a nice little two uh six to risk to wall ratio right which is pretty damn nice once again and if you want to confirm your order block right if it's valid or not what you will do is take a few retracement tool like i said again go from the low to the high and you'll see once again price will pull back into this area and when it hits this order block that we confirm by our uh, efficiency right order block and by this Fibonacci retracement tool price will come into this order block right order block is an area low level remember that order block is an area right it could go anywhere into this box deeper down deeper down maybe beneath this right it's an area it's not a level at a certain level of stop no that's why we use our box and then you take a profit right so uh, that is how you do it for the uh, bullish version in another video i will go through the bearish version once again right this was just a quick video to explain to y'all uh potentially how to use smc 
it's real quick real fast right it's that simple stick to your rules like I've said the pullback etc like once again let's say we are going now uh, bullish right now let's go for the bearish version I will go through the bearish version because we don't uh, all right so we create the high and the low right then we pull back and now we do this okay plan um stick to the plan right stick to the rules you'll see right here down right here we broke structure right that's a break of structure so this is a break of structure right red okay nice now how to identify your high your highest point is uh, where the first high was before we broke structure like I've shown you so this was the high right and this is a low how do you identify this low because of a pullback is gonna happen right great so now you take your box right from the high to the low in the opposite direction like we did for the bullish version now we're going bearish so now all you have to do is think in the opposite way it's that simple and you'll know for a fact because somewhere right here right there was an efficiency and somewhere right there will be an order block let's say our order block is somewhere right here okay somewhere right there and if we take a much refreshment tool to confirm that you'll see that we are pretty damn right price will pull up into some area right here right not in this area because then it's not valid at all some somewhere in this area right to then go back down to break structure so when we know that we delete the Fibonacci retracement tool for a second I will know that price will navigate into this but how you will think let me change it to blue right it will do something like this then you'll know from this point right when we have done this the three bearish candles uh bullish candles i mean you'll know that this was a pullback right and this is the low and then you can take a rectangle you'll see a price doing something like this and then bursting back up this coming in here right or could go piercing through it a little bit and then go down that's why you always have to give s s space your stop loss and when we navigate into this you'll see that we do this right it's simple as that and when we do that let me put this in red you'll see price doing this right and drop back down because price doesn't go in one line right it goes into a sort of um, high 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 lows low high low lows always right so this was our order lock right price pull up into this and then broke back down so where is our high at this point let wait let's just say how could you fake in your position again for position stop loss a little bit above this your take profit down here right that's how you can take your profit so how do you identify your high right now because we have made a lot of highs right like i've said again stick to your rules where is the furthest high before we pull back to break structure? This was the furthest high. And now, potentially, this could be a low, right, if you pull back. And where will the order block be once again? Somewhere right here in this leg, you will see an efficiency. So you'll take that order block, right? So the price comes back up to this, you sell, and you take a rectangle from the high to the low. And just repeat that, repeat that, repeat that, right? And, um, we have a very base structure to this in our community right where i explain those things those rules and how to identify them and all of this kind of things because if you don't identify your valid pullback or whatever it is right you'll get up um, on the wrong side of the market right you'll get up on the wrong side of the market thinking that we will go bearish but we're actually bullish so we're taking a short position while small traders like us and you me and you take a long position we take the profit and we have used actually the retail traders right that don't know how to trade unfortunately that don't see this video unfortunately has been used as liquidity right 
and we were going into the trade with the banks so that's essentially how it works right and you could come back after this uh, after this video right after this setup has been finished you'll see that I had uh, I had most likely what well, most likely will happen right is that you put in this and we'll go back up right we'll go above this high and I've uh, taken this trade right what will happen is that price what I've did is take my profit up here stop loss a little beneath here wait uh, just like this yeah so that's a six almost risk to war ratio and you can come back after this has finished and let me know if it worked or not but that is what will happen most likely right price is whatever it wants but this is what most likely will happen and it will always happens right and uh, yeah so that was it for the video if you would like uh, to see more kind of these videos right just let me know um, or just give me a comment about what you want to know more about surf and pullback a more structure rule right all these kind of things just let me know and we'll get into that right was thank you for watching this video and i hope i'll see you next time